Hi, this is Caleb from Practical Daz Advice, and today I'm going to show you how to take almost any picture and make it into a custom tattoo to give that extra flair and customization to your Genesis characters in Daz Studio. So, let's get started. Um, today I'm going to show you how I took this uh, picture of a butterfly that I found on Pinterest by Mr. James and I'll put the link um, below and we are going to take that put it in Photoshop and add it to her so first I want to get clean slate Put it back to where it was so first thing we want to do the surface selection tool we're going to put it on her shoulder so we're going to select shoulder we're going to go hit browse right click copy the location and then just cancel out we're going to then i guess i have it already that's okay up a new window hit paste to go there now we're in that area we're gonna open up Photoshop we're going to find the limbs which is right here we're going to bring that into Photoshop now the area that we want the tattoo is right in here so we're going to now bring in our tattoo. Going to place it by hitting enter. We're going to maneuver it. Maybe shrink it a little. All right. Now it has junk. It has junk on the side. You can you can see and it's got part of his name which I mean I guess you could leave it also has some of the the paper inconsistencies and stuff like that we don't want we don't want much of that there so we're going to make a new layer mask reveal all okay go to our paintbrush I want a hundred percent hardness shrink it down okay and we're just going to hold shift remove some of that there we are. now we're going to click back on our layer and we're going to go to multiply see and that gets rid of all the white and so now all we have left is this wonderful uh, tattoo for us we're then going to I'm going to add a tacky little note below it we're gonna put love in a terribly cheesy font maneuver that like so gonna place it go and do save as I wanna save it as a Photoshop okay save it as a Photoshop file first and then I wanna save it as a JPEG Now what you want to do is you want to do tests. So you do test one, test two, whatever, to, to make sure you have the location correct because it may look perfect in Photoshop, but the second you get it back into Daz, it's going to be a little off or maybe a little different than what you think it should be. So you always want to test it. Now I've already tested, so I'm ready for my final save. Now we go back into Daz, and every test you want to name something different because a little quirk of Daz is if you load a texture into Daz and then go and manipulate it and over save over it, it's going to bring up its cached file, which means it's going to bring up the old file, not the new file, which means you'd have to close down Daz and reopen Daz, or you can just name it something else. That works much quicker 
And it's also just a good habit to have your series of tests, to be honest. Learn from your mistakes. And... Oh, see? I messed up. I messed it up. It's too big. I need to make it a little smaller. It's hitting from the shoulder into the forearms. Now, one thing I could do is I could go and, uh... I can just go onto forearms and I can add it there, too. See? And then that completes it because it's still the, it's the same texture file but if I wanted to keep it on the shoulders then I would need to shrink it I'm going to go ahead and leave it even though if you look it's now probably a little off kilter and I should uh, rotate it or shift it a little bit maybe but all in all it looks pretty good now don't get discouraged if it looks all pixelated in here because that's not that's not uh, that's that's because it's previewing it's not it's not rendering it fully when you go for your render it's going to render it fully so um, that's a good start I think um, if you have any questions put them in the comments below be sure to like and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe uh, from Practical Dad's Advice, this is Caleb. Peace.